Oh, sh**. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. All right, Elliot just got some food, so he, oh God. he, he feels alive. Oh again. my God! Yeah, dude, I get uh, I get real hangry and like really tired when I'm hungry. And you were sleepwalking through that last episode. Oh my God! Yeah, I, oh that was bad. Okay, I was trying to talk about E3, and you were so focused on the eggs and, uh, and you were so tired. Big got little my uh, eggs. <laughs> so, so to finish E3. What? So, what's E3? Breath of the Wild two. Sucks. They Freaking balls, dude! That demo was f uh, lame. You mean trailer? Trailer, whatever you call it. Yes. Was uh, stupid. Why? I mean, okay, there were parts that were hype, but overall, it looks like here's the reasons I'm not excited. Okay. Okay. Looked like they're gonna re they're gonna reuse <laughs> the same map. Okay. Uh -huh. That's not very hype at all. There. It looks like, looks like, this is why I'm not excited right now. This could all change, depending if I get shown something cool. Pretty sure it will. It didn't look like there was a whole lot of emphasis on, like, a totally new gameplay style. So, like, if it's a big open world game and you're just going around through the same map, I'm going to be bored as fuck. Like, I want a completely new area. Maybe, like, keep Hyrule Castle or Hyrule Field, but that's fine. Everything else changed, like... I don't fucking know, like, the ground opens up, and then you go through the ground, and you, like, go to a new place, or I, I don't fucking know, and they have these, like, sky shrines, and I'm like, whoop the fucking do it's like, a couple of these temples, and like, I don't know, dude, very underwhelming for me. <laughs> I don't know, I mean, I, th I think as long as it, I, I think as long as they only, like, reuse some of the map from the first game, like, you know how, like, it, at the beginning of Banjo-Tooie, like they reuse Spiral Mountain. Yes, that's that's, that's totally fine because it's just one part. If they do right. something like that with, uh, that's like, fine if they too. just use Hyrule Field again, that's fine. I I'm at. I think that'll be fine. I'll be happy. Um, it looks like it looks like at one point in the trailer you do go to Death Mountain. There's a part that looks like Death Mountain. I could be wrong. Mm. Um, but yeah, another thing is, uh, aside from this one cutscene in the beginning of the. Of nope. the trailer, you don't see Link's face throughout the rest of the trailer, so I wonder if they're hiding something. Because, uh, it looks like something happens to his arm. The, you know that weird Ganon corpse? Yeah. I, I People think that's Ganon. It could be. I, I assumed it was. Um, it looks like he does something to Link's arm, and he doesn't have the Sheikah slate anymore. No. So, maybe he does something to Link that changes how he looks or something? I don't know. Maybe. I, I'm still excited for it, but, but uh, yeah, it's... I don't know, dude. I, I'm, like, part of it, too... You were comparing it whoa. to, like, S Skyrim or something, and how, like, after Bethesda made Skyrim, they got kind of lazy or something? Yeah, man. Bethesda can suck some big nards, dude. They fucking <laughs> suck. And they're like, oh, yeah, we've been acquired by Microsoft. I'm like, cool, what, so you can, like, just stick thumbs up your asses all day like you already do, but now get paid extra because Microsoft's fucking cool and they're big fucking gamers that got big money? <laughs> like, but that's the seriously, I was talking to you about this um, yeah, yeah. over the phone. Dude, they made Skyrim. Skyrim was cool. It's not my favorite Elder Scrolls game, but it was really impressive at the time. Like, it was very ambitious. Uh -huh. uh, Morrowind is way way more my style um like I, I dude just morrowind was fucking sick and it just feels like way more inspired even oblivion seemed pretty inspired skyrim felt like that was kind of the time where like so there was a time when we were growing up and you probably know this it was not always cool to like video games it yeah definitely was not like i don't know you you definitely were bullied for liking video games of a certain kind right like most kids i would say weren't super into video games. Now it's like different. It seems like all the fucking kids play games. Like, I think I think I think that's definitely true. Yeah, yeah, but for a while it was like, you like Zelda and you won't shut up about Zelda, dude. You you must be some like nerd or something like that. I think most sure, people like Zelda, yeah, but yeah. you know other games. Um, but then Skyrim was kind of at the cusp of like when that changed like everyone that i knew fucking before skyrim came out i was so hyped i went to release i fucking face painted myself very cringe i uh <laughs> I, I did all these things i we like went in a fucking minivan that we had from my parents and we um i, I don't have to be inside do i i think they just show up do i have to go in the barn maybe you gotta talk to romani i don't know let me go check whatever i have a restore point just in case um, you know, all this shit. You face painted yourself? Yep, with some friends. Really? Um, yep. Okay, no, I think I do stay outside. 
Um, you know, we were so hyped for months. I was like telling people in school all about it. I'm like, yeah, dude, this new game's coming out. And it's going to be sick. And here's some screenshots and blah, blah, blah. And like, people uh-huh. were like, okay, Elliot, whatever, dude. And they're like, do you think about anything other than video games? And I'm like, nope. It's like, that's basically what I'm into, man. And like, people gave me so much shit. Then the game came out and those same motherfuckers who were just like, Elliot, shut up. Went out, bought the game, and that's all they were fucking talking about forever. And I'm like, really? I fucking told you. Wow. And that's kind of when I noticed like people who weren't into video games were like super into Skyrim, and they all started getting into other games. Wait, and- I think I saw something. Go to the right. It was a dog or something. Oh, okay. It's a two. Okay, we're at two. Where are they at, son? Maybe go into the other building and talk to uh, the ones sure to the left. Show up. What about that? Yeah, what about that? There we go. Oh, there we go. So, anyways, there was a big cultural shift on, like, how people played video games and, like, whether or not it was cool to do so and, and yeah. all this shit. Um, it's just way more mainstream. Whereas, like, in the 80s and 90s, it was still relatively new. Oops. And kind of, like, a thing that, like, it was more for, more guys were into it. It was like, oh, if you like this, you're a geek. But whereas nowadays, everybody has a smartphone with right. games and uh, more, just, it's become way more mainstream and w- more people game than ever. So, what? yeah. Does this just not work right now? Apparently not. Oh, wait, th- I'm so dumb. You already slowed down time. So dumb. <laughs> You're um, just trying to get yeah, your Wrong horse. song. <laughs> Dude, yeah, so that was a cultural shift. But then also, in addition, like, because of that cultural shift, right, they were trying to make it way more appeal to the masses, in my opinion, right? Oh, because, okay. like, they're more about the profit, right? They want to get that Skrilla, and I don't blame them. Like, as a company, like, that's what you're there for, right? Yeah. Um, fuck me. Um, and so, sorry, I'm, like, concentrating here. And you think that that, like, that shift... shift so, it definitely did, because, like, oh, God. Oh, jeez. Hold on. No ah! way! Oh, fuck me. Thank Glob for restore boards. Yeah. Dang, Pona's freaking fast in this game. No, bitch! Oh, wait, there's two! Okay. You got Woo! it. Nice. Hold on. Dang, you freaking hot. Okay, why don't I tell us, like, my thoughts afterwards? Okay. <laughs> okay, there's one really close. Hold on. It would help if you had, like, a mini map. Kn- God damn, dude. Also, the horse turns so slow when I'm riding. Okay, we good? We're almost good. There are a lot more than I remember. Come on. Yeah, you oh, got it. Oh, God. <laughs> Good doggy. Do they try to get the dogs, or is it just no, the, the cows? No, they're going for the barn. Okay. Okay, it's almost morning. Okay. I'll just fucking miss every shot, dog. <laughs> <laughs> this would be much easier if this was Twilight Princess. The horse combat is so much better. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. Okay. Nice job, dude. Whew. Okay, so, right. As I was saying. Um, shift. So if you look at, for example, Morrowind, right, mm-hmm. as a game. And this, I think, applies to the whole industry of, mm-hmm. like, how games were changed. But if you look at Morrowind, there's a lot more, like, super nerdy, like, role-playing type dialogue. Like, super into it. Like, lots of lore. Lots of, like, you know. Skyrim is very... Um, elementary in the way it's like you go kill grog in mountains grog bad we like dragons it's more simple it's more approachable for casual fans yeah whereas like morrowind is like ah fletcher i see you come from the misty swamps of blah 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 you know like you arrive to morrowind on the third moral of this of the lunar cycle and you know <laughs> yeah 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 um so it just kind of shifts so Because of that, you just get these games that are more focused about bottom line and, like, how they can appeal to more people versus, Mm -hmm. like, inspired games by people who are like, I want to make this game because this game is fucking cool and this is what I want to do. And it's for these specific fans who are super passionate. Yes, 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 yes. What? I mean... Maybe I have to wait till morning. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so... I don't know. Wait, did I... Did I talk to her? I did. I'm so dumb. Okay. When do I do the mini game where, uh, I don't remember. 
There is something else I can do here that I want to do before I go get the rest of the eggs. You're talking about the dog race mini game? No. Um, you like ride shotgun for the carriage and then you go through the racetrack and that's where you get the mask, I think, from mm. shooting the brothers. They're trying to rob the the thing. Okay. Um yeah, dude. So I don't know, because of that, you just eh. Hmm. Oh, right. So the whole thing was shit on Bethesda. So yes. they did that. <laughs> Skyrim was so lucrative. And instead of, again, we are a game development company that wants to make games that are fucking cool and we want to bring this to the fans, they're like, or we could just re-release Skyrim like six times on different places and then release it twice on computer. One, normal. Second, definitive or like master or whatever the fuck it was. Dude, bring us a new game, you fucking lazy shitters. Like, they're just trying to get money. Mm -hmm. And like... I don't know. I feel like they could have done so much more with Fallout 4. It was just kind of really uninspired and boring. It was just like an expansion for Fallout 3 with a new map. It was just kind of fucking dumb. And anyways... You're so concerned that Breath of the Wild 2 is going to be like that? I'm worried that like... So Nintendo doesn't really do that as much. They, I still feel like, even though they're about the bottom line, they still like making good games. Like I, yeah. all their games feel inspired. But with Zelda Breath of the Wild, it was so insanely popular. And when you have something that popular and that lucrative... You know, money talks and people are like, oh, well, let's do this thing again because we know we can make a shit ton from it. And also they're like, well, we know this is what the fans want. But like, and it might be, it fucking might be. Maybe that's what people want. Um, But I'm, I don't know. I'm not your average casual gamer, I guess. Wagon in town. Would you like to go for a ride? Six o'clock. Okay. Okay. Six o'clock, six o'clock, six o'clock. We definitely have time to go. Um, get the eggs. And oh, hold on. I, I know, like, if you fail to... If you don't stop the aliens in time and mm -hmm. you come back later, isn't, like, the little sister... Doesn't she get taken? Yeah. And then the big sister's like, oh, she was taken. Yes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, sorry. You were saying? No, that, that's all. Um, just... So you're... So you're... I'm worried that the game has, like, transcended into a new level of fame where people are... So, like, if you... Think about it this way. If you're, like, a professional... UFC fighter or like a boxer or something, right? Okay. And you have you have uh, one match on record and you won, right? You're probably like, okay, I want to keep this victory streak going. I want to win. But if you're a professional boxer or a professional UFC fighter and you have 20 wins and zero losses, the pressure to like succeed. And the pressure to do better and constantly stay on your toes and make sure you, you don't, don't lose. You don't fuck that up is huge. And so with Zelda, now that they've like that was probably the most popular Zelda game of all time. Right? It's it's certainly up there, yeah. So like now I, I again I'm probably projecting on how I feel about this and I don't really care, but um <laughs> this is just how I really think about it. Like when you have that much success, you um you hold yourself to such a standard where you're like you second guess everything you do. What if we put this in the game? Well that'd be cool, but what if someone didn't like that because of this? Well, okay, you're right. Let's not do that. Well, what if we create a new map? Well, I don't know. What if people want the same map? Like, you start second-guessing everything you're doing because now you're just like, well, let's just follow the golden formula. But I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm uh, just worried that they're going to, like, it became so big that now they're worried and they might fuck it up. I, That's I, my worry. I, I'm not feeling that. But then again, I yeah. haven't really experienced, experienced that like you have. So... Yeah. I... Uh, I don't know. I, I think it'll still be good. I, I get the feeling there's still a lot that they just haven't shown us yet. Okay, I don't remember. So what's it's going like? On here? Stay on the path. Yeah. Okay. So. But anyways, I thought that Breath of the Wild two trailer was super cool. <laughs> Getting to see freaking it, it looks like Skyward Sword in a way. It's impossible to not think of Skyward Sword when you see that that trailer, because that's like the first thing you see is Link falling out of the sky. And Oops. uh oh. Oh no. I, I thought you follow the signs. Maybe you don't follow the signs. I don't fucking remember how this shit works. To me, it almost looks like they're going like. What the fuck? God they're going like kind of Skyward Sword Mario Galaxy ish, and that there's just a bunch of big floating islands in the sky, and you have to explore them, and. Yeah. You know. So, so I think that'll be cool. I, I feel like Skyward Sword is a solid game, but I, I feel like the sky was kind of underutilized. Yes. Like, I definitely think so. Because in there's Skyward like one Sword. One sky island. <laughs> well, like, yeah, like a little arc archipelago of. I don't know. There wasn't much exploring to do out in the sky. It wasn't that exciting to find stuff. Like, the, the the coolest thing you could do was find the goddess cubes on the ground, strike them, 
and then unlock treasure chests up in the sky to go to. Yeah. The, that, that was kind of cool, but the, the thing about Skyward Sword is, like, you start in the sky right from the very beginning. Yeah. Whereas this new game looks like you're going to start on the surface and then go up to the sky. Yeah. That, to me, sounds looks more like, gives me the vibe that, oh, we're going to go up here and discover this place? Whoa, sick. Look at all these places we can discover up here. So I'm excited. Hopefully it'll be, like, an improvement on what they came up with in Skyward Sword. I don't know. I, I, I think it'll be cool. I, I have faith. I hope so. You have slightly less faith. True. <laughs> You're trying to focus really hard on these signs. It's getting worse. Right? Yeah. So what's going on? You gotta follow the paths exactly? Ah, God ah. fucking damn it. Yeah, but all the signs aren't necessarily correct. They just say, danger, murky water ahead. Okay. So, okay. I vaguely remember doing this. So you go here. You go to this sign. Uh, you go one more. You go over here. You run to the first sign. Not the second one. You run straight over this way until you hit the fish. Do you go from the fish? Nope. <laughs> how do you know? Do, do they give you clues on the signs? I don't know how you do this. Did you, did you want me to look it up? No, no, it's fine. I, I'm almost got it. Okay. Trial and error right now. See, danger, murky water ahead. And it Dude. points in this direction, but then sometimes they'll say danger, murky water ahead. Dude, this is just like the forest in Breath of the Wild. You yeah. need to follow them exactly, but if you go the well, wrong no, way... Well, no, but you don't follow them exactly. If I follow all of these signs, it will lead me to death. Okay. So it's kind of poopy. Okay. I don't remember if you're supposed to cut right now or go around the outside of this. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Okay. And then I think we're good. You either run it straight. I'm just gonna try and run it straight. Okay. <laughs> Luckily, we have three <laughs> bottles as well, so. So you can get all the yeah. all the eggs. Nice. And the speedrunners, they just know the route, so they like do some crazy ass shit. Just wow. Like, <laughs> Holy crap! This place is huge. Yeah. I don't think I've ever. I don't know if I'm, I went here in the 3DS version. Oh, probably. Are there yep, any these. big like yep, underwater these. creatures? Oh. Jeez. Okay, those aren't super creepy looking, but they're a little, a <laughs> little pretty unsettled. spooky. They're a little bit. They're a little bit scary. I heard with a little lamp. They're, they're, they're no pink eels from Mario 64. No. But... <laughs> okay, cool. Now I just need two more, and we're Gucci. Nice. And so, then... okay, so you skipped a lot of the text when freaking who is that Zora that died earlier? It's like your wife. Your wife? Yes. No, he was a dude. What? No. No. The the one with the guitar. Oh, oh, oh sorry, died. sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, no, you're right, you're right. I'm I'm getting it mixed up. Um, yeah. That's you. That's the guy I'm playing as. Yeah, yeah. He's so the husband of the the Zora who you're trying to get the um the eggs eggs from. So oh. her eggs, she laid some they eggs. Got and stolen. She, she she laid some eggs and he was gonna you know come all over them and make some <laughs> Zora babies because that's how it works. I assume. Uh, no, I think j they just got lost. They hatched no matter what, I think. Oh, okay. They it's, don't really get into that, you know, it, being a, a kid. Nintendo kids game, essentially. <laughs> but, but that's how fish eggs work in real life, right? Doesn't... Uh, yes. Pretty sure the female fish lays the eggs, then the male comes and jizzes all over them. Fertilizes them. Yes. I don't know why he... I don't know why... I don't know. I guess it's just like jerking off on eggs. I guess... <laughs> I suppose there's some sexual pleasure there, so... <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't tell you. <laughs> I'm not a marine biologist, nor am I a fish. <laughs> I'm, gl I'm, I'm glad I'm a human and not a fish. I I'm sure human sex is much better than fish sex. <laughs> anyways. Uh, yeah, anyways. So, um... Yeah, so, so this dude dies. I don't remember exactly why he fucking dies, but he dies. And so we're just gonna give the eggs back to, to his girlfriend or wife nope. or whatever. And We no? put him into the, uh, like, infirmary uh, inside the researcher... What I say is the old lady, you say is the old dude. And then the, the eggs are gonna hatch. Yep. And uh, then we're they, gonna talk to the girlfriend. And they somehow and... morph into a song, and then you learn the song from the babies. Oh. Okay, then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Cool. <laughs> Don't you know that's what always happens with babies? Oh, yeah? Yeah. What? They line up on a staff, and they become notes. I see. Ugh. Whee! Hello, handsome. 
Yo, what up, baby? Dude, we got some dope ass uh, barbecuing for dinner today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did. Very excited. Mm. Very excited. What'd you say? It's like a, a burger, or no? It's a steak. Yeah, it made is of a burger. It's, it's a, a burger, burger made of like five different kinds of meat. Yeah, it's made from a local butcher, and they had a special. Um, and so yeah, they like took I don't even remember all of them, but like a New York strip, a ribeye, all this other stuff, and they made the ground beef themselves, and they put cheese in it too. Ooh, um, it, yummy! It looks fucking fantastic. The guy when I was buying it, he's like, dude, these burgers are bomb, and I was like, yes. Okay. Okay. Yep. Hmm. Yeah, we found this local butcher and we just oh man. Yeah, we go there We don't even get fucking beef or like anything like that at the grocery store anymore because this place is just so god dang good That's where we get all our meat from Hey, uh, what's that red icon on the map? It's technically where I entered this map. Oh <laughs> Oh, no, no, no the, the the little red circle not the triangle The red circle. Yeah, you're heading straight towards it right now. That's orange. Oh, red, orange, you know what I mean. What, what Dude, is that? I'm the colorblind one, man. <laughs> it's, it's, it's oh, it's enough. a chest. Oh, it's a chest. Okay. Yeah. I had a feeling it was something. I was like, didn't you just get all the eggs? So what else could that be? Money! Oh. Money that you can't, that you just have to throw away. Woo. Ding dong. Hey, it's me, Mario. I got the Wittown Goon Pizza. Should you uh, deposit? Oh, no, you don't have to deposit your rupees yet. Not yet. No, no, no. It's just, I just, I feel kind of bad seeing you, like, open these chests and have to throw away these rupees you get, you know? That's just the nature of this game. Yeah. Uh. Whoa, uh. the, the uh. sea, the, the ceiling of the ocean looks kind of weird. Uh, it's Bazingus. The great Bazingus. Here to rain his snot down on us. Archie. Oh no, wait, what happens if I go out? Ah, oh, whatever, fuck it, I know. I know the way now, because I'm a fucking gamer. And a hard left. And go past the fishies. And, um, a hard right. And a hard right. And a hard left. <laughs> Yuppie! Ugh. I forget how creepy it is to be, like, it. Hey, that's me, Mr. Nose! <laughs> I mean, the ocean is cool and all, but also it's just so gigantic and... Ugh. McCann, have you seen a gold-colored fit? Oh, what's this dude all about? Oh, that's right! The gold-colored fish! Yeah. Oh! Oh, that, I'm supposed to follow a fucking gold-colored fish? But you don't have to, okay. Wall, SD, <laughs> okay, just trial and error. I well, see. if only I paid attention to the game's mechanics and read things. Yeah. Maybe I know how to do things. Mm -hmm. Man, how do they expect you to do this? <laughs> God. All right. Well, there's Tingle up there now. Tingle, my butt. Mm -hmm. well, so, was, was there anything else during E3 that we may have missed that we might be excited for? I, no. That's pretty much it for me, I think. Yeah, that's it for me. I, I thought Nintendo. New patch comes out for World of Warcraft soon. Oh, okay. Yeah, there'll be a new raid. I hope some of my friends will play. <laughs> I don't Why? think all of them will play. I don't know. Some Why is of them that? are just kind of upset with WoW. Yeah. Upset with WoW? Why? Yeah, I don't know. Just like a lot of reasons that I, I wouldn't get into unless you want this to turn into like a 40 minute WoW conversation on like oh, all the okay. small mechanics and weirdness of the game. And yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm happy with it, but I'm <laughs> like not super hardcore WoW player. Mm. Oh, yeah, dude. I'm pouring these in so I can't read notes. I like making notes with my big butthole. Oh yeah, the, the, that's the, the those are the note lines on the back of the wall. Yeah, it's okay. a staff. Yeah, I th okay, I think I have seen it before. Yeah. Wait, a staff? Is that what that thing's called? A musical staff. On, yes. a, on a music sheet. Yeah. That's what that's called. Yes, it's a staff. I didn't know it was called that. <laughs> I didn't know what it was called. I thought I'm it was surprised. Called, I thought it was just called a line or whatever. No, it's called a musical staff. The line that the measures and notes are on. Huh. Okay. I was like, did I miss one? A boobity boobity bop 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 bidi beep bidi beep bidi boop bop bidi more notes boop bop bidi boop schooly boop 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 more jazz jizz doodly boop bop bidi boop boop Yeah, I was just about to say, I was like, when once they're hatched, they're not supposed to look like jizz anymore. They fish. <laughs> That's like what I'm gonna look like with my teeth when I get older. <laughs> yeah. Do you have an intimate?
Wow, I know how to play music. Oh, baby. Music makes the world go bad. Suck my balls and suck my clown. Be ba boo 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 boo. Stop hitting the Z button. Be boo boo ba boo 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 be boo boo a b z z b z b b a b z z b b a b z d a b f f f. Bye next one. Bye bye. I hate you.